Hey everyone, welcome back to SolidWorks with Joseph. Have you ever found yourself rushing to meet deadlines or staying up late trying to finish your SolidWorks project on time? Don't worry, we've all been there. But today, I'm going to share eight techniques that will help you deliver your SolidWorks work faster and more efficiently. And stay till the end because I'll show you my favorite technique that I use in almost every project. Before we start modeling, I want to share a quick tip that'll help you turn your SOLIDWORKS designs into real metal or plastic parts fast. And that's with JLCCNC. JLCCNC is a professional CNC machining service trusted by makers, engineers, and businesses who need high precision custom parts. They can machine almost anything, aluminum, stainless steel, brass, even plastics with super accurate tolerances. What's really cool is their affordable pricing. You can get custom CNC parts starting from just $1 and there are no hidden setup fees, so you only pay for what you order. That's perfect for prototype designers or students testing ideas. Plus, JLC CNC offers fast delivery. Parts can arrive in as quick as three business days, which is a lifesaver when you're trying to meet a project deadline. And here's something special. New users get $70 in coupons to get started. So if you've got a design from SOLIDWORKS that you want to bring to life, JLCCNC is a great place to start. I'll drop the link below so you can check them out after the video. Using Copy with Mates in SOLIDWORKS is one of the fastest ways to speed up your assembly work. To do this, go to Copy with Mates. Then, select the component you want to copy. Next, pick the cylindrical face, since it's concentric circle, and choose the face or edge where you want to place it. And that's it. You're done. You can repeat the same process as many times as you need. It's super easy. And honestly, this is my second favorite feature in SOLIDWORKS because it saves so much time. I'll reveal my number one favorite feature at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Using circular pattern in SOLIDWORKS is one of the smartest ways to save time when creating repeated features. Instead of modeling the same hole, cut, or boss multiple times, you can create one and then instantly duplicate it around a circle with just a few clicks. To do this, first go to Circular Component Pattern. Next, select the direction you want to pattern along, then choose the component you'd like to repeat. As you can see, we've got six holes, so we'll need six instances of the component. Once that's set, just hit Enter and boom, you can repeat the same process for the other components as well. This feature seriously saves you a ton of time, trust me. Using the linear pattern in SOLIDWORKS is one of the fastest ways to duplicate features or components in a straight line. Instead of modeling the same feature multiple times, you can create one feature and instantly repeat it across your part or assembly. Next, to use it, go to Linear Pattern, then select one of the edges to set your direction. After that, pick the component you want to pattern. Now, just enter how many copies you want and set the distance between them and you're done. You can repeat the same process for other components too. The linear pattern tool is simple, powerful, and seriously helps you work faster and smarter. Next up, let's talk about the toolbox, one of the most helpful features for saving time in SOLIDWORKS. To use it, go to the Design Library tab and click on Toolbox. Inside, you'll find a wide range of standard parts organized by country standards, bolts, nuts, washers, screws, and more. For example, if we need a hex bolt, we simply select it, then drag and drop it right into the hole, and it automatically fits perfectly. The toolbox is incredibly convenient, but it does have limited materials. So, if the part or material you need isn't available, you can create your own custom part and save it in the design library for future use. Another awesome feature is the design library. To use it, first go to the design library tab, then click add to library. Choose the part or measurement you want to save as a custom component. Give it any name you like and hit OK. Now you've got your own custom part that you can reuse in any assembly just by changing its dimensions. This is super handy compared to the toolbox because the toolbox only offers limited custom materials. With your design library, you can drag and drop your custom parts into position anytime and tweak the measurements just like you would with toolbox components. It's incredibly useful and a real time saver, especially when you're working on multiple projects. 
Now let's talk about another super useful feature, the hole wizard. To use it, first go to hole wizard, then pick the type of hole you need based on your project. Next, set your standard measurement and choose the hole diameter you want. After that, head over to the Position tab, select the surface where you want the holes, and just click anywhere to place them. And that's it. You're done. The Hole Wizard makes creating holes fast, accurate, and incredibly time-saving. Once you start using it, you'll never go back to doing it manually. This next feature is super useful when you're creating threads. To do this, just go to the thread tool and select the edge where you want the thread to be applied. You'll see a bunch of thread specifications. Choose the one that best fits your project requirements. And that's it. Quick, easy and efficient. The thread feature saves you a ton of time and gives your model a clean professional look. Another awesome time-saving trick in SolidWorks is using mouse gestures. To set it up, go to Customize, then open the Mouse Gestures tab. Here you can assign your favorite features to quick mouse movements, so instead of going all the way to the top toolbar, you can access them instantly with just a right-click and drag. You can add, remove, or rearrange any tools you want. Just search and drag them into your gesture wheel. Once it's set up, you can start sketching, extruding, or doing whatever you need, all with one simple motion. It's a super helpful and efficient way to speed up your workflow and keep your design process smooth and fast. Once you get used to it, you'll wonder how you ever worked without it. As I mentioned before, this is one of my absolute favorite SOLIDWORKS techniques. To use it, first select a surface or edge of the part you want to mate. Then, hold the control key and select the other surface or edge of the second part. Once you do that, SOLIDWORKS automatically shows you several mate options. You can pick whichever fits your design best. And that's it. You're done. Super quick and easy. This is my number one favorite feature because it saves so much time during assembly. Seriously, give it a try. You won't regret it. And that's it, guys. Those are some of my favorite SOLIDWORKS tricks to help you minimize time and design faster. If you start using even a few of these techniques, you'll notice a big difference in your workflow speed. SOLIDWORKS is all about working smarter, not harder. So take advantage of these tools and make them part of your daily design routine. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your SolidWorks friends.